How are you guys? Good. Pretty good, pretty good. How's uh, camp gone for you so far? Great, right back into it. Um, it's nice how the faster turnover is. Felt like season was just yesterday, so we're starting right back up. We're all looking forward to the new season this year. So it's been good so far. You, I'm trying to figure out your eligibility. Do you have two years left or one? Yeah, so I got two more years left, including this year. Came in, redshirted, um, then COVID hit. Uh, so then this was this is my fifth season, but um, I have two more years. Okay, so the reason I asked is because so that means you're playing the Big Ten then, right? Most likely? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so the new, I don't know if you heard the news this morning, it looks like Oregon and Washington are coming on board in the I Big did, Ten. I did hear about that. Matt, what, do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I, I don't have much control over that. Uh, it's interesting. Um, it's a big opportunity for all these schools. So um, we're just more focused on this season right now. Um, last Pac-12 season, so making it the best. Who do you think outside of SC is, is your favorite team to play in the Pac-12? Um, I think Utah is always a great matchup for us. Um, Coach Kelly and Coach Whittingham have a great relationship. Uh, he coaches those guys great. Um, it's always a tough versus tough team, so um, we always look forward to playing against them. How do you kind of see your role this year? It's the same as last year or anything different as far as how you're implementing the offense? Yeah, so it was nice having last year under my belt. It uh, got me some confidence. It was my first full season, um, 13 games, which was really fun. Uh, great learning experiences. Um, but really, it just gave me a lot of confidence moving into this season. Um, we lost some key guys, but we got some key players coming in. Um, I'm just hoping they can use me wherever they want, like a Swiss Army knife. That's what tight end positions really like nowadays. So um, I'll do whatever they need as long as we win. So you got some really talented receivers coming in, including this guy right here. Oh, yeah. You think that will change kind of like, you know, the number of receivers on the field at once? I mean, it just it just adds to our depth. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we had Bobo last year, Kaz, um, but we still got Cam, Titus, Logan, all these guys, Josiah. But getting J. Mike, Kyle, um, it's just a great addition to our offense. It helps us spread the field, all this stuff. So we got a lot of speed now. Um, not saying we didn't last year, but it's just adding to that depth. We can rotate guys. It's great. How would you assess um, the quarterback so far, and, and what's it been like to kind of trying to develop chemistry with, with them not knowing, you know, who the guys? Yeah, be? it's a great question. Um, I mean, we got so much depth in the quarterback position. Um, this summer was great having them, uh, including spring. But this summer, we can really get out, work against air, just try to work on timing and everything. Each quarterback, they have their own specialties. They're all good at something. Um, but really, like throughout fall camp and even spring ball, they've all proved themselves. They're all great players. Um, it's a great watching them compete against each other. What are the things each of them does that stand out to you? Um, start off, Garbers, he, uh, he's been in this program for some time now, so he knows the offense really well. He's got a lot of confidence. He's kind of taking that leadership role um, since Dorian left. Dante, um, I'm sure you guys all heard, he's really, really confident and um, mature for his age. Mm -hmm. um, it really impressed me. Um, he's just great. He's got a nice touch on it. Schlee, Colin Schlee. Um, the quick maneuvers, fast, athletic, dual threat. Um, and then you got J Mart, Justin Martin, who's just like that, super athletic, all this stuff. I mean, we have so much depth there, and it's really interesting because they all want to get better and they all push themselves. Um, so it's a great battle. How much variation do you notice in a ball when it's coming from a different quarterback? And do you have to practice that, like catching from different guys? You would think, but um, no, I mean, they don't all have they, maybe a little touch difference, but. It depends on the route, right? So, I mean, you're going to get the same type of ball no matter if it's a deep ball, short ball. It doesn't really matter on the quarterback. Um, and we all work this off season for timing and everything, so it doesn't feel any different. And you brought up Colin. Um, you know, in the spring we were, we were able to watch practice. Yeah. And we saw him, you know, kind of struggle with uh, accuracy, and he even admitted, you know, he was having some adjustment period. Uh, as far as how he looks now, how much of a difference is there in how he's performing? Yeah, he's, he's looking great. Um, like I said, this summer was huge um, because we kind of really could step away from going against the defense and really work on timing. And I mean, it's tough. In his position, you're getting thrown right in. Um, but I think he loves it. I, I think he loves the competition and he really wants to improve to get better. So him having this off season this summer to really work with each position group, it helped him a lot. So he's looking really accurate, looking strong. What did those summer sessions look like? Like how often were you guys kind of getting out there and, and where? You know? Yeah, so uh, we'd work out here every day and then on Wednesdays we'd have player development. And depending on class schedules, um, every Wednesday 
we would have seven on seven. Uh, no coaches allowed here, it's just players, so it's player led. And we split up two fields, which is nice because you get the freshmen that have more reps, all this kind of stuff. Um, and then usually Tuesday or Thursday afternoons, we'd also do seven on seven. So we try to get twice in a week, seven on seven. Um, that way the defense can learn their new schemes. We can get the timing ready. Um, and then Saturdays, we all come in on our off time and just work on timing against air, no seven on seven. But we're trying to go three days a week outside of football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, outside of uh, workouts. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.